Book lies don't bite people. There are no human parasites among cyanotropic sources and in general in the ordered Socoptera, including all wide living species. There is even if book lice have multiplied in large numbers in the house, they will not be biting. And if there are book lice living in the house and something bites you, it means that some other parasites live here along with the book lice. All the lesions on your skin are not caused by bites at all. Once upon a time my viewer sent me photos for identification and wrote that his child constantly has redness on his body. The dermatologist told them that these were some kind of insect bites. This is what one of these rednesses looks like. And when they started looking for parasites, they found these insects crawling along the walls, including near the baby's crib. They decided that these were lice, but they adopted it because the insects jumped away when they tried to crush them. And lies don't jump. Well, in good way, they should have been confused by the fact that lies should not crawl on the walls and floors. But these insects stayed on the floor under the crib and on the walls. These are book lies, most likely representatives of the genus Doripteryx. And they could not bite the child. I wrote to him about this. And about a couple of weeks later, the guy replied that they tried to eliminate these insects throughout the old crib, washed all the linen and all the clothes, but they could not get rid of these insects completely. But while the father was doing this work, he sent his wife and child to their parents in another city. And there the child began to develop blisters in the same way, although these insects were not there. Exactly at that moment it became clear that if the child was bitten by something, it was not these guys that were biting. And after about a week, the situation became completely clear. The baby was shown to another doctor who diagnosed him with an allergy and even identified the allergen. So if you have book lice in your bathroom or kitchen, you definitely don't have to be afraid that they will bite you. They won't bite. And if something bites, or seems to bite, then it is either some other arthropods, parasites, or some other skin disease not related to insects. And if you try to diagnose it, then just in case, contact two different doctors to avoid such a mistake as in this story. And if you couldn't recognize your insects, then take a photo, shoot a video with them and send it to my email. Let's try to identify them together. Mm -hmm.